Well, hello everybody. Today is June 22nd, about 2.30 in the afternoon. We're testing uh, boat number two, 17 foot fiberglass skiff. You see them coming there. Two kilowatt electric motor with two 200 amp DECA deep cycle AGM Intimidator batteries. Uh, today's been a good success uh, with our propeller. We've been testing several different ones to optimize the performance of the boat. Uh, today we achieved seven and a half miles an hour. We've been cruising for two or three hours today. And uh, we've concluded that it's a success. A um, few more tests to run. I want to show you now uh, uh, how the boat maneuvers. The unit, 2 kilowatt, needs 87 amps an hour, theoretical. So we had to find the right propeller. As you can see, we found the right propeller to make the boat run and give us the horsepower that we needed. This is with two guys. The boat weighs roughly 1,000 pounds. That's Steve Rupel, Brad in Rarity, cruising by. At slow speeds, you're really able to, uh, it's an infinite amount of hours. If you're a troller, uh, fishing the bank, you can go all weekend on these batteries. If you're, if you're trolling at the trestle and you want to pull a rattle trap, you still have 90 hours of trolling capacity with these deck of batteries. So, so for all you people that just don't want speed, tired of paying money for the gas, uh, this seems to be the ticket. Uh, you really have to tweak your props and make sure that everything's right for the application. But in the long run, you're going to save a lot of money. We have the same power with headwind, with current. Without it, it's going to run a constant speed for a very long period of time. So it's very maneuverable, as you can see in the water. It's really quiet. I'm just going to be quiet here and let you... Uh, listen to it come by, you really hear more water than you hear electric. Can't even, can't really hear it run. Very quiet. For all you bass fishermen out there, want to sneak up on a bass. This is probably our fifth test of the boat. And, and really to work all the bugs out, I think we're almost there. You saw that we had to add a jack plate to bring the unit out of the water. We still again have some more testing on it to see. We believe that the unit needs to come out the water a little bit more. It's still about four inches below the water line. Uh, our advice is coming from Hopkins Propeller over in Covington. And uh, Glenn's been real helpful with this to help us get the pitch on the prop correctly and give us advice. He's got many years experience in this. <clears throat> so really that concludes the test for today. We're going to charge the batteries and we'll see you on our next test which will be I believe in two days with both of the boats.